Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Isn't it always just the little things in life and the little things in tennis that makes a big difference in your game? We'll talk more about that in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so speaking of little things, you guys like my shirt? My buddy, Kevin, Ch Kevin Chu, he is now new part-time pro at Diablo Country Club. So my buddy, Kevin, played at Brown University, number one singles and doubles when he was there. Um, thank you for the shirt. And... uh Good luck to you out there. Now, uh, the little things in life are actually very important to the game of tennis. You know, how a little piece of rubber, just like that, can make such a big difference to, not vibration, guys. I know it's called a vibration dampener, uh, but sound. You know, people can't stand that pinging noise in their racket, but just this little piece of rubber can dampen the sound. And maybe a little vibration, just a little. All right, what about getting a grip on tennis? Fresh grips are always great. I see, I see you guys, I see everybody always trying to put on a fresh grip on the court. Maybe pre-plan a little bit so you don't have to use up the whole thing and you get a scissor involved so you don't have to, you know, do what you do. Wrap, 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 wrap and increase the grip um, a little too much. So pre-plan, use an overgrip. Everybody likes a fresh overgrip, like a fresh diaper, man. Come on, let's go. All right. What about this little puppy? This little puppy for your tennis elbow. All right, this little thing has helped a ton of you guys. I've probably sold like 5,000 of these since they uh, came out with this a little over 10 years ago. And it definitely does work. Your elbow hurts? Buy one of these first. You'll get almost immediate relief. Okay? So, and if you got sweaty hands, get a grip on it. Grip Lotion Plus. It's like antiperspirant for your, your hands so it doesn't sweat too much. So ever since these guys came out, we've sold a ton of these too, especially in like humid weather or if you're going somewhere super hot to play a tournament, these just fly out the window, the door. All right, now, a little of this kind of goes a long way, even though you guys like to load it up, and even though I like to load it up, but for most people, depending on where you put it. Now, if you want head heavy, and you just want a little of it to make it head heavy, you put it at 12 o'clock. If you want to stabilize it and make it slightly head heavy, go 3 and 9 o'clock. Okay? If you want a little, maybe head lighter, because it's too head heavy, put it in the handle or on the, the butt here. But a little actually goes a long way, even though I'm addicted to lead, as some of you guys are too, okay? Now, when I see people, and I have this myself, have a bad day, right? I'm just out there kind of dragging, not, not playing very well. What's the little thing or the little things you can do? Besides the Red Bull, which actually has been helping for me lately. So, so I need some energy, obviously. Um, and that does it for me a little bit. But what can we do as a player if we're not playing well? Well, the two things I want you guys to do when you're not playing well is, and you hear it all the time, guys, move your feet, right? Once you get your feet moving is when, you know, you'll start playing better. But, but the other thing I want you guys to do, 
um, just concentrating on your game. I know everybody does this. They, they kind of open stance this and then and they kind of hit it like this, right? That makes you lazier. So what I tell people and what I do myself when I'm not playing well is I make sure, I tell people, I was like, these are your two feet, right? Get turned, right? Get turned, get turned. Go back to basics. Back, what does back to basics mean, right? We turn, we turn and we bring the foot forward, right? If you're right-handed, bring that left foot forward, transfer the weight, go back to basics. Same thing with the backhand, right? Put the right foot out, go back to basics, shifting the weight. It actually helps a lot. I know it's a simple thing and it's a little thing, but resetting your mind back to um, the start of your tennis. Remember, we all did this. You know, we, we didn't do this when we first started as little kids. We had to turn and step and hit, right? Even the little guys do that. So by doing that kind of a little reset, it actually helps a lot. It helps with your stroke. It helps with momentum. Because when we're lazy and when we're tired, when we don't want to be there dragging our butts around, we tend to do this. We fall back and we just swat. So if you just turn and hit, right? Legs, right? Forward towards the ball. Helps a lot. So that's the main tip. Everybody says move your feet, get turned. I bet you that will help your game on those bad days. Probably every day, all right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.